this video is about biology of class 6. Our first chapter biology, the science of life. It is related to the ICC board. In this video, we are going to learn about the difference between living beings and non-living things. At the very first, what is biology? Biology is the science of life. And who are biologists? Biologists are persons, people, are people who have specialized knowledge in the field of biology. So let's start. They are made up of cells. Living beings are made up of cells and non-living things do not have cells. What are cells? Cells are the smallest thing that has life and can exist on its own. There are two types of organisms, multicellular organisms and unicellular organisms. Uni means one in Latin. Remember, uni means one in Latin. And multi means many. We can understand by this only that an organism which has a single cell, only one cell, like bacteria, is known as unicellular organism. And an organism which has many cells, like millions and billions of cells, it is known as multicellular organism, like human beings, plants, animals. We all are multicellular organisms, algae, bacteria. They are unicellular organisms because they have only one cell. Our next topic is they can grow from inside. Living beings can grow from inside. And non-living things, they can not they can grow when something is added. We have studied that living beings can grow from inside when the cells multiply and multiply. Like when two or more cells multiply, they form tissue. And when two or more tissues For food. 
So organisms the dependent plants or on another organisms, other organisms for food directly or indirectly are known as heterotrophs. And those organisms that make their own food are known as autotrophs. So this is the difference. They need food and they do not need food. What they will do with the food? Our next subject is they respire and they do not respire. Living beings respire and non-living things do not respire. See, there are two terms, respiration and breathing. They both are very, they both have very major difference. What is breathing? Breathing is directly inhaling, uh, inhaling oxygen and exhaling carbon dioxide. And what is respiration? Respiration is when, when we take in oxygen and oxygen is combined with food to break down it, to break down it and release carbon dioxide, water as byproducts and energy is stored inside the cell. Where it, the energy is stored? Energy is stored in mitochondria and that is why it is known as part of the cell. So living means respire and the only way do not respire. Our next topic is living beings throw out waste and non-living beings do not throw out waste. See, when we, uh, when in our body all the metabolic processes, all the life processes, what is life process? Life processes functions, all the functions that are occurring in our body, functions of life. It means functions of life. And all the metabolic processes, metabolic processes means all the chemicals that are occurring in our body which forms waste like carbon dioxide and water when we are studied earlier in the respi respire, they respire, that we have learned, they are waste and they need to be expelled out or thrown out. If they are not expelled out, they form toxic Toxic is harmful for us now because they are chemicals. If they get accumulated in the place, they form toxic now. So they, we have to throw out waste. How we have to throw out waste? Through fetus, urine or sweat. These are the three ways through which living beings can throw out waste. And in plants, in plants they throw out they throw gases, they give up gases to atmosphere and they take it. They are leaves which have small pores called stomach pores. They throw, they give up gases in the atmosphere and they take in gases from the atmosphere. And how they throw out solid waste? We know of the plant uh, that they are giving up gases. And how they are uh, expelling out solid waste? When they want to expel out solid waste, the waste is stored in the leaves and bark. When they shed the leaves and bark, the stored waste or accumulated waste is thrown out or expelled out through them. And non-living things do not throw out waste. Our next topic is they respond to stimuli. And they do not respond to stimuli. What are stimuli? Um, take an example. We take an example that if this is a hot object, I touch it accidentally, then I will withdraw my hand. I will withdraw my hand because it is hot now. And there is a more example that uh, if someone flashes a bright light on your mouth, on your eye, you close your eyes immediately in a few, in a minor second, in a nanosecond. Because what is the flash of light and what is the hot object? It is stimuli. And the ability to respond to stimuli is known as sensitivity. So, what is stimuli? The hot object and the flash of a light. The things through which you are stimulated we are stimulating is known as the ability. The ability is known as sensitivity. And they do not respond to stimuli.
there is no unknown gains, do not respond to stimuli. And friends, uh, plants also respond to stimuli, but we can't see it. We can see it, uh, but we don't notice it. Uh, it is a right word that we don't notice it. How they are responding? Let's take an example of a sun cloud. When morning, when morning is there, the sun cloud faces its mouth. Its mouth through, through sun. No, towards the sun. It faces its mouth towards the sun. And there is one more example: lotus potulaga, um, lotus potulaga, and uh, gurmohar. 